Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. This is gonna be a little bit different of a video than anything I've done before. And I hope it encourages you in those moments when you just feel like you're not living up to the expect expectations that you had for yourself or you're just struggling to get something done. Uh, that is exactly what I experienced today. I spent about the last hour trying uh, eight different uh, things to, to have a painting and create a video for you today and none of them were feeling like they were going the way I would have wanted. And that's okay, that happens to all of us. I would say probably no human is exempt from having that feeling, at least at some point in their life, whether it's with a more creative endeavor or whether it's just in your daily work or you have a day off and you were thinking you were gonna be super productive and then you just wind up not having the energy for it. We've all been there and I just wanna encourage you in those moments to not beat yourself up because when you kind of verbally have that negative self-talk or internally have that negative self-talk, it's definitely not going to motivate you to do more. It's just gonna make you feel worse. So please try not to beat yourself up on those days or those moments and uh, just know that it happens to all of us. So I wanna give you a little bit of an inside view uh, to, to what that looks like. I did, so like I said, I did eight different things. So I have eight little sheets of watercolor paper that have a bunch of kind of nonsense on them. But I did have two or three that, that I thought were kind of cool, maybe showed some fun effects. So I will go ahead, give you a quick little overview of all the things I did and then show, uh, show you a little bit more detail on those three that kind of turned out sort of fun. So let me go ahead and jump right in. So here you can see all of those pieces and they're actually many of them are still drying you can tell they're pretty wet but i start out with those two upper ones on the left with uh oil pastel with watercolor and just wasn't happy with how they were turning out so uh those are kind of everything that i did now let's get into uh one of the ones i did like so i've got some viridian green i'm just going in with a lot of water and a lot of paint and the idea i was trying to demonstrate a uh, kind of marbled bleeding effect with colors so you do want to choose colors that uh, aren't opposites on the color wheel that sit more closely together so blue green and yellow are gonna blend well even when they start flowing into each other just adding drops of water over the top to have plenty of liquid in there and then uh just kind of letting it sit and bleed into each other. And that kind of turned out kind of peaceful and pretty looking very quick. That was just a couple minutes. And then I decided I wanted to try and do almost like a sort of flat earth and then almost roots or bleeding down into the depths of the earth type of look. <laughs> and uh, so again, same color scheme I got, uh, I was, really enjoying the ultramarine blue viridian green and cadmium yellow light together uh, they all blend really nicely i did add a tiny bit of burnt sienna but not a ton and then letting them bleed into each other and flow and then actually physically making them drip down like that and this, as you can tell, this is time-lapsed a little bit. This one took maybe about five minutes total. And as you can tell, the paint did actually drip onto my uh, table surface. So I had to wipe that up. And that final drip wasn't kind of going the way I wanted it to. So I had to coax it along. There you go. There was that one. Kind of fun and pretty. If you wanted to kind of mimic sort of roots dipping down. Uh, so you could have that and then maybe draw a tree, tree above and paint in some roots if you wanted. But I also added a little bit more color to try and bleed into each other. Again, I wanted to have a little bit of that kind of almost marbly effect. And those colors really do blend so nicely. And it's kind of fun to just watch them go back and forth and flow in each other. It can be kind of peaceful. All right, now we have the final one. Again, I decided, ooh, I really like this idea of 
the marbled effect with watercolor and seeing if I could push that a little further. So again, same colors and just letting them blend and flow into each other a little bit. And see right there, you already see a little bit of that green bleeding into the yellow. There's a lot of water in this paint. So it's thick paint and lots of water. And then I go and put the, a little bit of the yellow actually in the blue and vice versa. So it can start flowing and bleeding around each other. It wasn't quite wet enough on the side with the yellow, so I had to add a little more water. As you can see, again, you almost have these kind of thin lines of yellow creeping into the blue and vice versa. And that really was basically what I did. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and also that hopefully it made you just feel a little bit better about those days that you have. We all have them when you're just feeling like nothing's going quite the way you would like and that's all right. So uh, until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. God bless and I'll see you soon.